Outside Lancaster House, even the fog was lifting as Foreign Secretary Selwyn Lloyd arrived for the conference on Cyprus. To the governor of the island, Sir Hugh Foote, it was a near miracle that the hope of peace had dawned at last. Indeed, the presence in London of the much-discussed Archbishop Makarios, now indisputable fact, would have seemed quite out of the question only a week or two ago, yet here he was. The Archbishop arrived at London Airport on the Sunday evening, imperturbable and dignified as ever. Here was the man whom Greek Cypriots deeply revere and who infuriates his opponents. The thousands of his countrymen cheered his passage to the conference room at the airport. This dignitary of the Greek Church personifies as none other the aspirations of Greek Cypriots. The Archbishop declined to answer questions but said he was here to help solve the Cyprus problem. I look forward to a sincere cooperation in the interest of the entire population of Cyprus so that with the help of God, happier days may come to the island. So at Lancaster House at long last, British, Greek and Turkish delegates met at a round table conference. Mr. Selwyn Lloyd presided with Sir Hugh Foote and Mr. Lennox Boyd at either side. The Archbishop learned that Britain's strategic needs in Cyprus must be clearly met. The Turkish representatives listened to the condition requiring the recreation of Greek-Turkish friendship. All are working for peace.